Hi guys, um, today we are going to do a resin video. Um, I very much fell in love with this color of this hair dye and I really wanted to use it in a piece so I decided to make it just a tutorial to see what would happen. I had no idea how it would turn out. I'm also using a powder pigment as you see here that I will show you how to mix powder pigments into your resin. Um, they're really fine pigments so it's pretty easy to mix in. You can see it just kind of dust. And I'm doing a really small piece here, so, you know, it's nothing extravagant. It was basically just for the experiment purposes of the hair dye and to show you guys how to mix the powder pigments. As you can see here, I um, already have the resin mixed. Scratch that, I don't have it mixed. This is the splat hair dye. My daughter bought it and we did not use it, but I thought the color is pretty powerful. It actually rendered a lot of cells, so take that where you want to. Decide to use it if you want. Don't. I don't care. But I did. It's just a little wood circle that I painted yellow. And because I'm using voiceover, I'm just going to kind of walk you through the steps. This is me adding a small bit of the powder silver pigment. Then you can see I'm going to use some of the alcohol, the denatured alcohol, in a moment. Here we go. Yes. <clears throat> I don't know that there's a direct science as to how much to use. I don't get into all that. I basically go with what feels good, what mixes well, and what I like. I think there may be a science, but um, each amount that you're going to add is going to add a different result. So back to the whole thing about use what I mean every time it changes because I'm going to get a different result with the way that it's mixed be it more transparent or not so that's how I roll you can see I'm just mixing it it very quickly absorbs into the denatured alcohol it's really it's not hard super easy groovy look how pretty it is it's gorgeous I'm gonna show you in just a minute on my glove I believe It's rocking. You can just see that metallic in it just kind of shining through. I really love this color. As I said earlier, I don't use an exact science of measurement. Call me whatever you want. I just don't. Unfortunately, I can't help you with that part. I can say that your eyes will tell you a lot. It's pretty apparent whether or not you need more or less, depending on what look you're going for. And we're just mixing. And here's where I'm going to show you the pigment color. Yeah, you can still see particles in there. I will note that. Um, that's okay when you add the resin, they'll break up more. You can still see that it's pretty transparent. You'll notice that in the end result of the piece. Powder pigments for me, especially the metallic ones, don't really seem to give that much color. They just kind of add an extra depth to the painting or resin art or whatever you want to call it. If I want a more dense color, I will use acrylic paint or something of that nature. I will have a video coming up on a tutorial for the art resin, resin tint, resi tint. Um, so keep your eyes out for that. If I have it done before this is over, I will post it up above and you can click on that. Here we are mixing the resin in. I 
all of my other video tutorials show how to mix resin i didn't find it necessary to go through the steps again i'll post a link above or below um that will link you to another site another video that will show you how to adequately mix your resin if you're interested and you're a beginner so don't shy away from the video just because that aspect is not in here because i offer that in many other videos And here comes the hair dye. Groovy. I did add a little bit more. I did not want it that transparent. However, hindsight's 2020, and I look back and it might have been really cool. But that's why we do little pieces to begin with to test our colors, especially when you're working on commission work this is your best bet to try colors prior to doing the big piece it saves you and the client time and money and i'm just going to do a quick dirty pour didn't put much thought into this one as i said before it was more experimentation based i wasn't sure how the hair dye was going to work and I found it very intriguing, so I figured you guys might want to join in on the fun. You can see my little torch laying down there. For those of you who do not know, a torch is a must-have, in my opinion, when doing any kind of resin art. I have a lot of extra resin because I did another piece right after this. So you don't need to, it's not necessary to mix as much resin. So I also decided I wanted a little bit of white. So I used the Pebeo Vitrell Pearl, I believe. I'll double check that color name. Anyway, it's a much more dense color than the others I'm trying to watch. Yeah, you can see the color renders a lot more of a not as a transparent color look at that it's a beautiful however you're not going to really see much of that either in the end result which i found that, that I, I had a feeling that was going to happen that the hair dye would overpower most of the design um part of this tutorial as well to show you that a lot of colors will render different results um so yeah it's always best to play with a small palette first had i had wanted more white and more silver this would not have turned out the way i had wished Torch is a bit funny, guys. Always is my problem. I feel like it's possible that I have more torch issues than anyone in the entire world. But, hey. It's pretty much the gist. You'll see the final pictures popping up throughout this video to show you what it looked like at the end result makes a cool little coaster I'll say that that it, I think if I remember correctly that's a three and a half inch circle diameter so it's pretty pretty good size you can see the cups beside it like it works out well here I just sprayed some alcohol ink spray that I had mixed up myself. I'll do a tutorial on that as well. It's kind of a dark purplish color. I just wanted to add a little bit more depth into the piece. Even though it was just for tutorial reasons. And you can see the cells and then the alcohol ink is where the dark spots are. And you know, that's what we got guys. It was a really fun experiment. I think I will use hair dye again. Possibly. 
I don't know that it was too outstandingly different. But if you have some laying around that's a really pretty color, now you know you can incorporate it into your resin art. So win-win. Alright guys, so that pretty much sums up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like below if you did. And shoot me a comment if you have any questions at all. Uh, I usually respond within a few days. I do not like to leave people out if you ask a question. I find it's very important if, if I'm doing YouTube videos that I need to be able to interact with you guys and answer your questions because that's why I'm here. So go ahead and shoot the questions below and I will respond very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. You guys are rock and I hope you look forward to more videos. See you guys later.